go. Uh, Snake River Fly tying session, second part. We did the bull whip earlier. Uh, this one is going to be a modified bull whip worm called the Breakfast Burrito. Uh, same hook, worm hook, Mustad 37160. I like size sixes and eights. I'm going to also use, uh, besides the bull whip leather available at Snake River Fly, I'm also going to use McFly foam in this chartreuse color and put a little bit of pink in with it and it creates the egg pattern. I'm going to use large red wire also on this pattern to put the ribbing on the worm. So let's go ahead and get going. I prefer to use a 210 thread, something a little bit stronger. The leather's pretty tough and it takes a little bit of pressure to tie it down. I'm going to start the thread in front of the apex of the bend on the top between there and the eye. And just like the bullwhip worm, we're going to insert the the wire here and wrap it back. I like to wrap it on the side as opposed to the top or the bottom. It creates a little bit of a flat profile on the worm instead of a vertical profile. So I'm going to wrap that, secure that down, uh, try to cover the hook pretty decently as you won't get a, too much of a chance to go back and color up color the open spots. I'm also going to take my thread wraps all the way down parallel to where the eye is. So you've got your eye run a line across and hit that spot right there. I've pre-cut some leather strips, bullwhip leather here. This one is pink. We're going to attach that, leaving a, the end to hang over a um, little over a centimeter there, not quite an inch. And I'll begin wrapping my thread putting uh, some segments in here, a couple wraps to start the leather. Once again, you're just trying to hold it down with the thread wraps, and then we're gonna secure it during part two with the, the wire. So as I wrap up towards the eye of the hook, I'm putting some segmentation with the thread. Just one wrap is enough to do it. And when I get to the top of the hook, you can, you can see the segments I've put in there. When I get to the top of the hook, I'm going to put one additional thread wrap, open this up, and we're going to insert our egg right there. For the egg pattern, I've already cut a couple uh, pieces of McFly foam. I just kind of form a pigs in the blanket with that interior color. Kind of sandwich it in there. And then I'll make that spot available where I want the egg to go. Put a couple really solid wraps right there, try to make sure they go in the same spot. Then I'm going to pull that egg off to the side, egg yarn. Secure my thread there and go ahead and cut the egg out. To do that I'm just going to hold up really tight on the egg, the egg foam. One little cut in here. Try to use some good scissors. Multiple cuts will just make some uneven. And you're left with that egg pattern in there. Okay, then what I'm going to do, continue on with the thread, wrap, tie down your piece of leather with a couple wraps, open this back up and bring your thread all the way to the eye, leaving that area open for our wire band. And then I'm going to start wrapping the large wire up through the worm, following the pattern that I created with my thread. This will secure the worm to the hook. When I get to the egg pattern, I'm going to do one last wrap here, and I'll make sure I advance the wire on top of the leather instead of right through the egg, avoiding the egg with the wire. Put a wrap there, and then I'm going to open up this leather and create the hot spot or the sex band on the worm. Also adds a little bit of weight to this portion of the, the fly. Try to make sure those wraps are really close to each other. Once I've got about an eighth of an inch left before the hook eye, I'm gonna fold that wire over at an angle where I can tie it down. Make sure it's tied down well, six to ten wraps, and then you can work that wire out of there. Should break off pretty easily. A couple more wraps to make sure I've tied down any sharp spots. 
and then I'm going to fold down the forward part of the worm right behind the eye, a couple wraps and then a whip finish. Get a good knot in there. And then what I've got, I've got the front of the leather is a little bit longer than I like it, so I'm going to trim off just a little bit of that length. And make it just a little more scaled to the rear. I usually like a little more length on the back end than I have on the front. You can make sure that egg fits in there if you want to trim it up and kind of get it off some of the sides you can do that as well. And there's that. Once again the product uh, that we're using is the bullwhip leather available at Snake River Fly. It comes in pre-cut strips or you can buy it in a cord and cut it yourself to length. Um, thanks for watching our video. They'll be available at snakeriverfly.com or on uh, YouTube you can also find us. Thanks guys.